Hi. Just before the audio starts, I wanted to let you know, bit of shameless plugging here, I have a Patreon. So if you enjoy my content, there's a link in the description, and for only $5 a month, there are two tiers, but they're the exact same, you get access to a bunch of exclusive audios. I upload one every time I upload a YouTube audio. You get access to weekly polls I hold every Thursday for what Friday's audio should be. First place goes to YouTube, second place goes to Patreon. And you get access to a Discord, which has a bunch of lovely, 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 lovely people on it. I, cha I chat there sometimes, and occasionally on Fridays and stuff like that. We do fun stuff, like Jackbox. It's very fun. There's a lot of lovely people there. So, if you're interested, there's a link in the description. But if not, completely okay. Keep your money. Now, without further delay... Oh, goody. It's my favorite god. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. Good, good. I'm, well, behind bars, as you're very aware. You go on one little spree, and now everyone's like, you need to be in jail. Didn't even go to trial. Some bullcrap right there. Some big old bullcrap. Look, just because there were a few casualties doesn't mean we're getting off topic. I know we don't even have a topic yet, but. <clears throat> Listen, the. The crown made me go a little haywire, I won't lie. There were a few things that I did that were a bit drastic, I suppose, but adjacently, you know, I feel like people should be more understanding, frankly. It said my name in a dream. That's pretty compelling. A, 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 an item, a, an object said my name in a dream. And then whenever I get close to it, it's just like, God. It's pretty damn compelling. I mean, let's be honest, for a while, I, I, I thought I was a normal human. I did. Then I put on the crown, I was like, whoop, whoop, look at that. I'm actually a dormant 5,000-year-old chaos god. How fun. So then I went on, you know, spree and... Then I suppose here we are. I mean, when you put the thing on, it, it, it kind of clouds your judgment a little bit. It does. It, it strips away any logical thought and you'd become a bit, uh, how to say, crazy, I suppose. Crazy is a decent word for it. I mean, again, Chaos God. I mean, the second I put it on, I was flooded with memories. There was a lot of stimulus there. I, if anyone went through that, they'd go a little nuts. Mm hmm. I went from being just normal human with a day job to suddenly, I am so old. I've seen so many things. <laughs> it, it, that's enough to make anyone a bit different afterwards. I'd say so. Now, did I mean to cause all of the rot and destruction that I did? I mean... No, but it was funny. It was a little funny. I mean, you heard me laughing. It was, it was funny. It was a little bit. Teeny bit. Not that many people, even more than a lot of people. A lot of people are in the, the void now because of that portal I opened up and. Yeah, that was. Um, I, I could probably get them out eventually, but. Um, the void is kind of infinite. I don't really know if I could find specifically where they are. I don't know. Well, 
Again, wasn't my full intention. I just got a little power crazy. And, you know, I went from being a normal human. My skin's purple now. I have two different eye colors. My hair's white. A lot of things have changed. I also have claws for some reason. I don't know why it gave me that. Like, hey, Asgard, why do I need claws? That's weird. Yeah, I mean, I went under a bit of a transformation. Honestly, I think that the white hair kind of suits me. I don't know. Bit of shag. I like it. The eye color's cool. The purple skin, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of, but eh, whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, there's not much I could do now. I kind of need the crown. I don't know how... Oh, I do. Right, I still have my memories. Right. When I was first captured, quote-unquote captured, um... Thousands of years ago, a couple dozen maybe. Was it? Yeah, I don't know the specific date. Um, so they captured me and they separated my power into the crown. So that way I'm separate and I'm my own person and the crown holds my power. So the crown is what I should be just like on a constant, but kind of took that from me. It sucks, but eh. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little weak all the time now. Not that I really realize it. But maybe that's just the base baseline for human. Is it? You guys feel weak? You guys feel, feel feeble? Feel like... I don't know, like... Like if an elephant stepped on you, would you die? See, that's what I mean. I'm much more durable with the crown. I could get hit by, like... A star flying at like four hundred miles an hour, thousand four hundred thousand. That's that's the better, yeah. And I'd get hurt, might break a rib or two, but I'd be okay. Yeah. Back on my home world, see, back in my home world, I was crazy and chaotic, cause of course, in the job's description. <laughs> but um, there was this meteor that was coming towards our planet, right? And everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god, we're going to die. The meteor's going to kill us. What are we going to do? It's definitely going to, it's going to destroy the whole planet. It's going to set the atmosphere on fire. So I was like, you know what? I like this world. I like screwing around with all these people. Don't want them to die. So I got your average baseball bat. I licked it to infuse it with my power. And I just... Pff, home run. Hit it way far away. Traveled a few million light years. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think it hit Neptune or something. No. Oh, right. I'm thinking in your solar systems. Right, right. Hit, uh... What did we call that? It's been so long since I've been in my home world. It, it was a planet about twice the size of Earth. Green. Had a ring. Did it have two rings? It did have two rings. Big moon. Uh, you don't know. Why am I telling you this? You don't. You're not from my home world. But uh, whatever, we're here. So in some ways, I was a hero. Otherwise, everyone still hated me. I mean, you know, I could be swayed. Yeah, I'm not heartless. Most of the time. I mean, as long as I find it entertaining, I'll do it. I don't care. Hey, if if you can convince me solving world hunger is fun. I don't, do it. I don't care. I could. I did this once actually because I was hungry and I was really in the mood for pizza. Have you? Oh, I actually saw something about this in a show I watched when I thought I was fully a human. What was it called? Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. Have you seen Gravity Falls? Okay, so remember in that one episode with uh, it's it's about Seuss, right? Yeah, yeah, he wishes for infinite pizza. I gave that to myself. Right? Is that not sick as hell? Oh, it was, ooh. It was meat lovers, too. There was sausage on it. There was bacon on it. There was pepperoni on it. The crust was stuffed, too. Ooh. Ooh. One of the best decisions I ever made. I can't do that again. Oh, it was good. Christ. Oh, it was so good. 
Well, yeah. I mean, if you can convince me that this, you know, stuff that would help the world is fun, I'll do it. I don't know. Out of the good... You want me to do it out of the goodness of my heart? I'm a chaos god. <laughs> the only thing in my heart is chaos. I just like doing weird stuff. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, yes. You know, I'm quite the weird character when... See, as a human, I played Deltarune, right? The character Jevil. I thought it was pretty rad. I'd party with him. I sympathize quite, quite deeply with him. He's cool. Yeah! He's neat. Is it time for food, food? Yeah. You know you need to feed me without the crown, right? Oh, hush with that. I know that your people want to keep me alive because, again, my powers can be used for good. They can be. And also, you know, they're probably trying to find a way to siphon the power out of the crown because, of course, they are. You humans are always so greedy, so, so very <sighs> yourselves, I suppose. You're fun. Anytime there's a lick of power or anything to be gained, you're just like, oh, how can we harness it and make money? It's like, there's more to it than that, you know? There's a lot more to it. Typical. Well, what's your story, then? If you're so... Oh, no, humans are good. Why are you here, exactly? No, no, no. You're here for a paycheck, right? Mm-hmm. What's that paycheck for? Money for see you're not doing it for fun, are you? I know you need food and stuff to support your family, but what's the point of living if you're not doing something you love? I love being chaotic as hell. <laughs> I like causing chaos. I like throwing the world into turmoil, seeing how people react. It's pretty funny. Well, clearly you don't have the viewpoint I do. Because from my viewpoint, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, come now. You're no fun. What? I mean... Like, you humans believe in like the whole God thing, right? A lot of you... Well, there might be an afterlife, who knows? I mean, I'm a God, so... I don't know much about it. Because the Ancient Ones created me, and frankly, I never really talked to them. I was towards the end of an era, so I didn't really get much of a chance to talk to other gods before, you know, the purge happened. Alright, you don't, you don't know the history of... So basically, a lot of people started to really hate the gods, so a bunch of god slayers rose up and tried to kill us all. And I was one of the more, let's call it, pesky ones. So they had to separate me from my power. And, uh, you know, that's why we're here. Mm-hmm. Happened about five years, five thousand years ago. Yeah, this body is held up pretty well, all things considered. At least my immortal immortality stayed with it. That's nice. But, you know. I miss it. I do. Yeah. The thing about chaos is it's it's always there, it's always a constant. So they couldn't really, like, kill me, kill me. They wanted to. Oh, Lord, did they want to. <laughs> but not quite. Not quite. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Food? I am hungry. It's, it's what, it's 12? Yeah, time to eat, right? Is it mashed potatoes this time? Oh, yay! I love mashed potatoes. Whoever makes them up there makes them very well. I like them a lot. Oh, well, technically I don't need food to live, but it's very nice. I like food. 
It tastes nice. Why are you wasting resources to prepare me food? Because I told you that I needed to live, but I did a little bit of lying. Oh, please don't tell them. I love mashed potatoes. Oh, sometimes they make mac and cheese. Oh, it's so good. Please, I like it. I'm so bored down here. At least let me have the food. Thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, come on now. I'm allowed to appreciate you people. Especially you, you're nice. For the most part. Oh yeah, how nice can you be when you're the god to a chaos god's cell, you know. It's only so far I can go, but, you know. Ooh, the food's ready. Ooh! Okay, okay, request, request. Uh, can you... Okay, I'm going to sit down in my cell and eat the food, right? Can you sit down with me like we're eating together? Well, I, I'm I'm a chaos god. Doesn't mean I don't have a heart. I like company. Makes me feel less lonely. Hey! Thank you! Okay, I will stay right here waiting for the food. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll eat food with you in a second. Yay!